All right, you little crypto knots, I'm back this time with a microphone, but with my old iPhone because I'm lazy. Anyway, running nice hash on my CPUs right now. And when I kick it off, right, here's nice hash. You kick the puppy off. I got one CPU running. You get this little notice. Failed to apply. MSR mod hash rate will be low. I've been so lazy not to change this. I used to do it manually when I would run XM rig directly on Zerg pool, uh, R plan, all those other mining pools. But with nice hash, I just never went in to do it because I was just, again, too lazy to find out where this thing was to give it the administrator privileges. How do you do that? All right, let's just do it. All right. So what you're doing, easiest way is run the damn thing and see if you get this error right here. If you do, go down to your little, when, this is in Windows, sorry. Windows is not the greatest thing, but anyway. Go down here to the XR, which is XM Rig icon. Right click, go up to XM Rig Miner. Right click, left click on properties and watch this guys, technology, technology. Yeah, so here you go. This is all the information on that running application. This tells you the location of that binary. This is where you want to go. What I do is I just right-click again. Right-click is your friend, folks. If you want to be good at anything on these stupid computers, right-click. I right-clicked on that location line right there. See my little mousey? I go down and I say, select all, baby. And then I do it again. Guess what I'm going to do? Everyone say it. What am I going to do? Right-click. Copy, blammo. And now what you got to do is what I do. There's probably a better way. But anyway, I go down to the File Explorer folder. Guess what I did? Right click. Now I hit File Explorer for a new one. There's a left click. All right, go up here to the quick access line. I just click in that little puppy. I do right click. And I'm going to do a paste. And I'm going to do... Uh, on my keyboard, I guess. I could probably hit the arrow. Let's hit the arrow. I've never done this. Go to, oh, just hit the arrow. Blammo. Takes you to the folder. Guess what I'm going to do now? Find the binary. XM rig. This is your application. Right click. You shall right click. And then you go down to, my God, where is it? Holy crap, it's at the bottom. Go to properties. Left click. All right, on the properties, you'll see a tab called compatibility. You uh, click on that little puppy, scroll on down, and all you want to do is see this little checkbox right here. See my little mouse wiggling? Wee, wee, little mouse goose. That's a mouse. That's a pig. Um, click on this. Run the program as administrator. That's all you do. Then you come down and hit apply. Apply. Hit OK. Hit OK. Uh, I'm OCD. I will close out my windows. What I do now, this is running already with the, uh, un, you know, older, older with the non compatibility privileges. We just kick, just go up to nice hash. Blammo. Pause that puppy. Take a breath. <sighs> Start that puppy. Now it's going to say, do you want to run this little guy? Um, Yes. All right, if I click right. Now what you'll see, it, XM rig comes up, and that message is gone. So I'm going to see if my hash rate actually will go up now on nice hash. I got to now go through and do this to all my rigs. Uh, in the past, I would download XM rig directly and change it as just a habitual step. And on nice rig, I was just so lazy not to do it. I wasn't really paying attention. I just saw this today. I went, all right, I know how to fix this. Time to amp it up, get the job done. And I thought I'd just whip out the old whoop, iPhone and do a video because I'm sure others are um, maybe interested in doing this. Again, you're not making any money on this crap. This is all for fun. Uh, in fact, you're probably losing money after you pay the horrible electricity bill. But um, if you want to stack Satoshis, which is kind of interesting, if this crap goes up to 100K, you may have a couple pennies in your pocket. 
uh, but the tax man will come get you anyway, so you'll give it back to the tax man, and they'll take your money and, you know, do what they're doing with it now, which is pretty criminal. So <laughs> pick your poison. We're all just sheeples. It's a big club, and we ain't in it. That whole stuff that George Carlin says is so true. Um, look him up if you want to learn about how the old country and world is run, but it's pretty pretty sobering. So here's how you do it. Do some nice hash mining with the old administrative mod rate. And what the hell am I doing? Oh, I'm modding to um, nice hash on their wallet right now. I got a couple pennies. Woo! Um, not enough to fill up a tank of gas. But uh, it's just fun exploring because there's not much heat coming from these CPU rigs. And again, I ran them. I got my power bill like I discussed in my crappy last video with the bad audio. I said, um, you know, down here they raised the power rate 68% per kilowatt hour. And they said, you're going to take it and you're going to take it without Vaseline and you're going to like it. And then what they do, they come back a few months later. Well, now we're just going to only do 40% above normal. I hope you like that, you know. Uh, and, and I'm like, well, two years ago, why is it up six still? It's still going to be up 40% from two years ago when Orange Man Rod was in with mean tweets. Now it's incredibly out of control because of the crazy people running this country now. It's just insanity, man. But what are you going to do? Sheeples, you know, going to sit here complaining and then go back to watching YouTube. <laughs> That's the way the world is today. Um, go forth, do great things. A little stupid video on how to modify your admin privileges on the nice hash miner. Uh, I use XM rig. I just selected that one. They have LOL miner or other crappy ones on there as well. You just got to look and see which miner you're using and just follow the same steps. Go down and right click on the toolbar, get the path, find out where the binary is, find the compatibility on the properties, make it admin mode and blammo. And I'm going to come back later and check my hash rate on the nice hash dashboard after I change the rest of these rigs. Uh, once I do that, uh, I'll let you know what I come up with. All right, seven minutes of blabber, blabbling, blabber, blabbling about nothing. Uh, but again, like I say, man, it's YouTube. It's only for entertainment. Please mark that on your screen. YouTube is only for entertainment. If you're listening to anyone about money, financial advice, life advice, it's all for entertainment. Please listen to me from personal experience. <laughs> you know, some stuff is just fun to listen to. And a lot of people will just gluttonously absorb YouTube videos that uh, give you tips and stuff, but no, no one ever really does anything about it. So it's like 99.99% just, oh, okay, then they just keep habitually consuming YouTube. Get off your butts, get outside, get some sunshine, and uh, talk to people. All right, go forth, do great things. Blammo!